Greetings, society. This is Tacrodon here, back with more Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. And yeah, sorry that I missed the last week of videos. I was kind of taking like a small little break because, um, uh, basically just, I just took a week long break, basically just so I would have more enthusiasm for these videos. But also, I was trying to like come up with what the last let's play of this season will be because the season wasn't supposed to end at re4 separate ways and i have decided on a game but i'm not going to say what it is because uh you know plans might change but currently i'm really happy with the game i chose because it's a game series i've been meaning to start on this channel anyway and that for some weird reason i keep putting off because the first time I was supposed to uh, start or do the Let's Play for the first game in this series was actually way back in Season 2. Well, well, I know it's only last season, but, you know, I was originally supposed to do it there. But then, like, I got other games that I wanted to do instead, so I pushed it back. And then, like, it was planned to be some point in this season anyway, so might as well, you know, do it. I've been trying to get a berry out of this magic berry bush, but I'm just not strong enough. If you charge or flame the bush, one of those yummy berries should drop. They literally named this guy Shorty. They, they literally named this man's Shorty. Wow. I'm sorry, but that's just kind of stupid. That's kind of stupid. And yeah, I am saying stupid weird. Deal with it. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying stupid because it's funny. Um. But yeah, I literally date this man shorty. That's funny. Goodbye, sir. These guys kind of remind me of those uh, thieves from Spyro 1. You know, the really annoying ones that go, nee, 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 nee. <laughs> I hate those guys. Um, what's my opinion? Like, after beating this game, do I like this more than Spyro 1? I actually don't even know how to answer that because there's certain things that this game does better, but there's certain things that Spyro 1 does better, like, I prefer the way levels are tackled in Spyro 1, where they're more open-ended, less linear, there's not really like an NPC you're following around, because almost every level in this game has an NPC you're either following around, or you're taking like, a mission from. And I'm, I just don't care for that too much. I think the style the first game went with Spyro just exploring the area, grabbing gems, defeating Norks, and exiting. I think that was fun, and I think they should have just, like, went more into depth in this game with that stuff. But, you know, it's whatever. Um, but this game isn't even that bad with this, so... <laughs> I say this game because I actually don't like how... Spyro 3 handles it. I already mentioned that I'm not do ever doing a Spyro 3 Let's Play, but it's not just because of that. From what I heard, you have to have 99 eggs or something like that to beat Spyro 3, and I already had a lot <laughs> of trouble getting the orbs in this game. So, like, yeah, I think I'm good on that one. I think I'm good on that one. I'm actually gonna Google it too to make sure I'm right. How many eh wait. How many eggs do you need to beat Spyro 3? 100, okay, yeah. Um that sounds much harder than 40 orbs, so I think I'm gonna pass on Spyro 3. I need to do some crash games anyway, so that might be my next, like, platformer folk focus series to play. Because first I played, uh, cr uh, Crash 4, then I played, uh, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, and then after that, like, my platforming focuses were Spyro and Sonic. But now that I've played the two Spyro games I want to let's play, um, I think I'm good with Spyro, unless they release a new one. 
they released a new Spyro game, I'll definitely let's play it. I'm not as big of a Spyro fan as I am of like Crash, Sonic, and Ratchet and Clank. So like, those are games I'm more likely to keep playing. Spyro is a series I got into via the um, the Reignited trilogy, actually. So, unlike the other three that I've been like a fan of since like the 2000s, um, I didn't become a fan of Spyro until Reignited. I mean, I watched a lot of Spyro content, so I had like context on it. Like I watched Let's Plays of all the games and all that stuff, mainly out of curiosity. And I really liked how, like, all that stuff was done. So that's what made me give Reignited a chance. So I knew what Spyro was for years. And I knew a lot about it for years. I just wasn't... I didn't consider my fan a Spyro... Or I didn't... <laughs> I, I don't know why I said it that way. I, w I didn't consider myself a Spyro fan until I actually played a game. I wanted to play a game first before I even thought about considering myself a fan of the series. Because, like... You can like aspects of a game series all you want, but you can't call yourself a fan unless you enjoy playing at least one or two of the games. So like, yeah, I had to play it for me to consider myself a Spyro fan. I had to play the Reignited trilogy, but Reignited is pretty good. It's actually pretty good. I like it better than the Insane trilogy. I will admit that. But I'm a bigger Crash fan, so the Insane Trilogy is something I'm actually more likely to go all the way through. The thing with the Insane Trilogy, though, is I'm not a completionist. When I get to it, don't be mad if I don't get the 100% endings. I mean, for Crash 2, that's kind of fine, because the only uh, thing in the 100% ending missing is how the Cortex Vortex blows up. But... With Crash 3, it's a little annoying because, like, you're literally, like, told, oh, hey, your story isn't over. Go back and collect stuff. <laughs> it's, like, kind of, it, it's kind of annoying. I like how Crash 4 tackles, like, a more, like, better way of doing it where, like, you get the true, you do get the full ending for just beating the story, but you get extra, like, post-credit scenes type shit for uh, being a completionist and I think that's a good way to do it I think that's how the classic games should have done it in the first place and that is kind of how uh, Crash 2 does it like you don't really need that extra piece of ending it just kind of explains how something happened at the start of Crash 3 you know but Crash 2 might be the only one I try to complete all the way though oh here we are Oh, we had another boss fight. Let's go. What is it, boy? Oh, the fairy. Here you go. <laughs> Let's be real, though. Ripto deserved that. Ripto, this man Ripto deserved that. Calm down, man. Ripto needs the Snickers. He's not him when he's hungry. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm just feeling goofy today. I know I wasn't really joking for most of the video. That's because I was rambling. But I I do have, like, a joking mood at the moment. So now that, like, my rambling is kind of mostly finished, you'll probably hear a few jokes here and there. Um, I do want to finish what I was saying, though. Crash 2 would be the first one I play for a let's play and it'll probably be the only one I try to be a completionist with because I have gotten close before if I'm not mistaken there was one save file I had on the insane trilogy where I was only missing two gems and I don't know I don't remember why I gave up because I had one of the hardest gems in the game I had the cold heart crash hidden gem like the red gem I had that so like Oh, was that snow go? I don't remember. I, I think that might have been snow go, but I had that was one of the hardest gems to get in the game, and I had that, so I don't know what was stopping me from getting the last two gems. 
Honestly, I might have just got bored with the game by that point because like it takes a lot of time to get all the extra gems in Crash 2, Crash 3, and all that. The reason you're not going to see me complete Crash 1 and 3 is actually kind of simple. It's, uh, it's annoying. That's basically my whole reasoning. reasoning. It's annoying. I don't like getting time relics. Outside of, uh, CTR, they're actually kind of fun to get in CTR, but... And C and K. Time relics are fun in CTR and C and K, but they're not really, like, fun in a traditional crash game in my opinion i've never been a fan of them that's why crash 2 is the best of the insane trilogy and out of the original trilogy in my opinion because it lacks uh oh jeez this guy just keeps hitting me it lacks um the relics but it also isn't nearly as annoyingly hard as crash 1 because Crash 1, there's a reason you'll never see me complete Crash 1 or 4. With 3, it's possible. I just don't want to do it. That's basically what it is. It's just not a, a, a I don't want to scenario. I know I could do it. I know I, I have the skill to completely complete Crash 3. I know I have the skill to do it. I just don't want to. That's basically what it is. But Crash 1 and 4, oh hell no. <laughs> you ain't gonna see me ever complete those. If I ever, like, have enough to tolerance for the time relics, I will do a completionist run of Crash 3. I will. Crash 1 and 4, hell no. As much as I love Crash 4, it is my favorite game in the series with Crash Twin Sanity being right behind it and then Crash 2 being right after that. Crash 4 is my favorite in the whole series. And um, I still would not complete it with how hard it is. I still would not do a completionist thing. Cortex Castle was already enough health without trying to get all the jumps. I ain't going back and getting the gems for that one. Hell no. <laughs> That's where, like, that was the point I realized that I just should give up on getting all the gems. Not really, like, on my first run, because I gave up getting all the gems on my first run of things kind of early on into the game. But that was the point I realized that going back to get the gems, that is not a thing I want to do. Because after, like, realizing just how hard Cortex Castle is, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing a completionist save file of this game. I, I can't. I just can't. But that was just thinking on the gems alone. You gotta account for the fact that the game has insanely perfect relics you have to get. You have to account for the time relics. Like, no. <laughs> I love Crash 4, but I wish there was, like, a choice for that stuff. I wish that stuff didn't count towards percentage, you know? I wish the only stuff that counted towards percentage was the gems and flashback tapes. And if you wanted, like, to get the time relics and the insanely perfect relics, they were optional things that just granted you an extra reward or something, you know? Like, that's how I would have done it if it was me. And if they decide to, like, tackle Crash 5, if they ever do make a Crash 5, the same way they did Crash 4 in terms of, like, collectibles and stuff, I really do hope that it's, like, uh, that they do something like that where the, where the flashback tapes and the gems are the mandatory items for percentage and then, like, the other junk is extra shit for rewards. That's just how I see it. That's how I think it would work. Like, that would be, honestly, the perfect, like, balance there. And you might be wondering, why am I saying make the flashback tapes count towards percentage instead of the relics? Well, because outside of Crash 3, none of the platformer Crash games 
are really that well built for time relics and crash 4 is included in that it kind of makes me wonder why they even have the time relics in crash 4 you know because it's cut even though like it's better built for them than crash 2 and crash 1 it's still a really weird game to have them in you know i understand why they added like relics for crash 1 and 2 in the insane trilogy i understand that for extra challenge for people who want to get them all that junk i understand it it makes sense but they made a con they made a conscious decision to bring back time relics for crash 4. they made a conscious decision to, to do that i feel like i'm saying it wrong even though i'm pretty sure i'm like <sighs> Even though I'm pretty sure I'm saying it right, I just have a feeling that I kept saying that word wrong. That's why you were hearing me hesitate. I know I'm saying it right because I know how it's spelled and everything, but it's like, it's just a feeling. You, you ever have like that feeling when you say a word or you type a word that you're like saying or spelling it incorrectly, but it turns out you're actually saying or spelling it right? You ever have those moments? I have those every now and again, and this is one of those times, you know? But yeah, they made a conscious decision to uh, <laughs> to add relics to uh, Crash 4, and that was kind of... In my honest opinion, I would have dropped them. I would have just dropped them, and if they really wanted to have the relics, make them optional. N no percentage counting for them at all. They're just completely optional. They're not needed for, like, to get 100%, you know? This is how I would tackle things. Oh, damn. Skyro, you did it. Whoa, Laura, where'd you come from? The book has powers. The castle in Autumn Plains. The castle is now free again. There's no sign of uh -huh. And since you've been around, the creatures of Avalar are finally. We're almost done with, with this video. I actually don't even know if I really like do anything else in this video because it's only got four minutes left. I don't know if it's all cutscene or if I do a little exploring into the next world. There's gonna be something to fill that time. I just don't know what it is yet. Wow, this is great. Aren't you gonna join me? Uh, no. I'd like to, but I've got to go check on the professor in the winter tundra. He's still trying to fix the super portal so we can send you home. Oh, that sounds interesting. I think I'll just hang out here for a while and soak up a few rays. Uh-huh. Hey, where'd Laura go? I better follow her. I don't know whether to uh, laugh at that scene or just be confused by it, because, like, why does he do that? Why is he just like, I'm gonna relax. Oh, wait, where did she go? I need to follow her. Like, fail. What the fuck was going through your mind right there? Like, I'm curious. Is that just like a weird writing, like writing decision they made in the original game and they just kept, kept it faithful? Is that what it was? I don't know. Just a few more calculations to set it up. I think I have it. Excellent. Everything is finally ready. We're going to need a lot more orbs, but with the power crystal boosting it, the super portal should work again. It just hit me just now. Is that a Crash Bandicoot reference? Is that a Crash? No, think about it. He said with the power crystal. Hold on, let me do. <clears throat> with the power crystal. I, I can't do his voice. Tom Kenny, you got too much range, man. I cannot imitate that. But um, he he literally had like call he called it a power crystal. It's the same. It's not exactly the same proportions because a crash, uh, a power crystal would crash is much longer, and slimmer, but it's got like the same general shape and color as the power crystals in Crash, and he called it a power crystal. Is that a Crash reference? Because if it is, I just now caught that and I feel dumb for not noticing it before. But oh well. Sometimes that's just how it be. Sorry for talking over cutscenes so much. I'm just kind of getting bored of uh, going silent during cutscenes. 
sometimes I genu genu ugh, sometimes I genuinely have a reaction to cut seeds, but never give them because I decide because of my stupid rule to go silent during them. But anyway, I'm gonna be ending off the video right about here. So goodbye for now. See ya.